Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. Today I'm going to show you guys how to install a printer without the CD driver. So this is going to be a pretty quick tutorial and we're going to jump right into it. So assuming you don't have anything except for the printer itself and the wireless connection it might have or any cords if you have it physically connected to your computer, this tutorial will be for you. So we're going to jump right into it and we're going to start by opening up the start button and you want to left click on it to open it up and now you want to type in device and then when you type in device and you might see something that says devices and printers right above control panel you want to left click on that one time to open it up now at the top of this window there should be something that says add a printer you want to left click on this button one time and you might actually if you have your printer on which I'd recommend you turn it on at this point it might be something that populates inside this list and then you would just select it and then select next however since we do not have any devices that are currently have wireless capabilities that are turned on I'm gonna select that the printer that I want isn't listed and now at this point I'm gonna select add a local printer or network printer with manual settings and then I'm gonna select next keep the existing port the LPT1 printer port keep that one selected then select next again and now at this point you can select any printer from on the left side here from the manufacturer and then once you selected the printer manufacturer you want to look down and see if you can find the series number so it should be pretty straightforward I'd recommend that you guys take a look at your printer before you even begin this tutorial and take a note of what the model number is or the name of the printer it should be pretty clearly labeled somewhere on the printer itself so it shouldn't be too hard to find and then once you found that and then the respective printer name select next you can change the printer name if you wanted to but we're going to keep it the same default then we're going to select next it's going to begin installing the driver software which should be pretty quick I recommend printing a test page to make sure it works and then you can click on this finish button and for more specific printer manufacturers if you wanted to get specific details if your printer was not listed on there I recommend going on to that manufacturers website so Epson brother Dell HP Hewlett Packard whatever you want to whatever your printer is and most companies do have automatic or automated tools that you can download onto your computer and it will automatically scan for and download driver software for your compatible printers because they already have tools that are made to detect their printers it's usually the best bet and I usually try to do that if the CD or DVD instructions or installation disk that came with it is currently unavailable so that would be my second go to try if this does not work for you guys but I do hope I was able to help you guys out and as always thank you for watching and I will catch you in the next tutorial goodbye